Sorry after a few interruptions. We're gonna sit down. Now we're yeah. gonna do the master lock. Yeah, we're gonna do the master after lock. We after we messed up three times. After we messed up, after we were interrupted three times. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to get a good video here, but so anyways. We were gonna to try to get it all on one shot where we started out with zero 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 and then unlocked it, set the combination, I walked away, you yeah, set, set the combination, wrote it down, and we come back and it's all locked up and ready to decode, yada yada yada. But it's a little too time consuming, we're just gonna get straight to it. I have absolutely no idea what the code is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, so, will be soon. Right, no. so we're just going to shin this thing open right now to get into it quick, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we're not going to be using that tasty tool. So. Well, we're not going to be using that, though. So we're actually going to be decoding this. Yeah. And you have on your piece of paper somewhere. Yeah, piece of paper somewhere. The code wrote down. Yeah. So if I can't get into this thing, we can still get it unlocked and reset it to zero, 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 yeah. right? Okay. All right, well, let's go over decoding this thing. You wouldn't want to give me any hints, would you? I would just give you some hints. Well, what hints would you give me? Well, of Don't give me no hints. Hints. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of hints. Dun, dun, dun. Huh? You ain't gonna come up with any math homework for me to do. It anymore, has something to do with the first president. <laughs> something to do with the first president. Well, there is, I think, our first slot. I believe, not 100% sure. Yep, that's it right there. So we're halfway between nine and eight. You see that? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that on nine, and I'm gonna write, ooh, let me get over here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna write nine down in case I mess it up. I can come back to it. And then we'll move on to the next little wheel, and we'll do the same thing. What we're looking for is in between the two numbers, let's say two and one, there's a little gap that this little feeler gauge, which is five thousandths, will fit down into. And if it goes down into the little slot and we can move the wheel back and forth with the feeler gauge, we should be in that slot. And all we gotta do is just kind of move around and keep looking for a little slot down in there that we can use. I'm telling you, you already got the first part wrong. I already got the first part wrong? Yes. Uh, so it's not nine? No. What if I told you that I knew that it wasn't nine? Well, you would, you, would you say that I looked at your piece of paper? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know that I haven't looked at your piece of paper though, right? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to keep feeling around and see if we can find... Oh, I think that was it right there. No. I'm going to try to feel in between these numbers and see if we can find our little find our little slot in there. Is that it right there? I think that's it. So we have the second one is in between four and five so write down if you will five okay. mm -hmm. and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the third wheel and see what we can find we'll just keep doing this it's exciting ain't nine, it five. nine five is what we got so far is that right not at all not at all he says oh, i think i found it we're in between four and five again so we're going to set it on five will you write five down for me yep. again down five. Okay. Now you're saying that nine five five is not correct for the no. first nine for the first three numbers. No. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find. Uh oh, what we got here? No. I'm gonna see if I can find the fourth one. Although the easiest way to do this would be to do what I'm gonna do after I find this last wheel. <clears throat> Keep looking. And no. 
still looking for the little gap on the wheel number four. Did I find it? Maybe? No. right there that's it so we're between nine and eight so I want you to write down number nine okay, okay so what I've got and what we got here is nine five five nine yep. and you're saying that that's wrong yes okay well what we're gonna do is I'm going to move each one of these up two And see if that works. Is the code one seven 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 or one seven seven one? Yes. The code is one seven seven one. Mm-hmm. That's the code. Where's your piece of paper that you wrote the code down on? I told you it's a little hit. How did this simple with the first president? It did? Yeah. So one seven seven one was what you wrote down. Yep. Okay, cool. Now what I would have normally done is I would have decoded the first three numbers. So as I got 177 right here, and then I'm gonna lock it back up. 177, mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry about the fourth wheel. What I'd do is I'd just go through and try each one of them because it'd been quicker than decoding it. You saw how much trouble I had with that last one, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just keep trying it, keep trying it, keep trying it, keep trying it, keep trying it until it popped open. Okay. So, decoding it. And what I've got here when I bypassed was this little knife that I made out of, uh, I think it's, I believe it was 12 thousandths shim stock. It was either 10 or 12 thousandths, I can't remember. I don't have my calipers on me. But, nice, narrow, thin little thing. Makes it a lot easier getting through, getting in beside the number wheels. And of course, uh, the little feeler gauge is just a jacked up piece that I cut down and smoothed off and bent just enough to where it would fit, fit in there and find that gap. And that one's made out of uh, 5,000 feeler stock. So that's it. Master 175 bypassed and decoded.